Hey, get inspired, everybody. Welcome to the show that's all about how and why people are following God, life inspired. My name's Diane Bennett, and you are watching this show that we talk about um, a dot, dot, dot turning point moment in people's lives. And so basically life was going along and dot, 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 God stepped in and did something. And now um, he's turned their trajectory to a new path, a new thing. You can follow this show either on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or you can go to lifeinspiredshow.com and watch it from there. We do ask if you would to tag someone that you want to see the program that if you think it's inspiring and kind of about their story too and it would mean something to somebody. If you would like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, those would be ways that more people can hear about what God's doing in people's lives and Dude, don't we need that during COVID? Because wow, we are still doing this show virtually um, with some Zoom. And my guest today is Becky Fogel. I can't wait to hear your story, Miss Becky. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're still doing it with Zoom because of the whole COVID thing. So it's just scary, lots of stuff going on, but God is still in control. So, hi, Becky. Hi, Diane. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am so, so excited that God put us together to do this story. I have not seen you in 10 years, I think. It could be more. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> so tell us a little background. What's a background story before some turning point you're going to share? I know a lot of people have multiple turning points, but I know you've got something you are excited to share with yeah. us. I do. So tell us the background first. Okay, so... It actually happened today, a, a part of it, like me coming and talking to you, but I had just um, texted my team here at House Call Home Inspections, telling them how grateful I was for them and how thankful that they found me. And um, and I was like, literally, I was in the office all by myself today because they're all gone and, you know, doing their thing. And um, and I'm bawling. And, I had, and I'm like, I just have to text them. And then I got done. I walked, dried my eyes. And then I remembered I had to follow up with you today and I texted you and then you're like, oh, <laughs> so that's the background of how God is definitely working something, you know, and how he has worked in the past a million times. And I have a million stories, but this one is about the, my job now, you know, a, a job that I never thought, okay, let me just say I was this close to purchasing a women's boutique a few months ago. And wow. Um, I needed something more, you know, you know, you know, where God's nudging you, you know, like you're restless and you know, he wants you to do something, but you have no idea what it is, you know? So, um, I kept praying and praying and praying. What do I do? And I just kept hearing, just wait, just wait. So, but the next wow. thing I knew at that women's boutique was to buy it, you know? So we were getting ready to do that, but God kept saying, just wait. Well, then my boss, Jeff Blyler, uh, I've known him for years. I used to do a, a woman's a defensive training with him and his wife. And they called me and they wanted me to come work for the home inspection. And I go, there's nothing fancy about home inspections. Cause like I called my women's boutique job, my fancy <laughs> job, but um, I needed more, you know, I just, I knew there was something more, you know, like I, I, I need to be constantly learning and, and, you know, meeting people. And, and I thought, Oh Lord, really, you're not going to, put me in a home inspection business but the next day I prayed I prayed I prayed a, about a week and all of a sudden I woke up and I just knew that I'm not supposed to buy that boutique that I'm supposed to come work for house call home inspections and and you know what I've made it fancy <laughs> you know um I, I've met the most amazing people I have the best team of people uh they're very faith-based um they're like my family, you know, and I've, and I've known them for a long time, but like, I've really, really got to know them these past few months. And, and I'm like, God, are, you are so funny, <laughs> you know, cause like, I'm like, there's nothing fancy about that, but you know what? I've made it my own, my role. I've made it my own. And dad, I'm, I am fancy. Of course, today I'm not cause I'm in the office, but, but, um, it is what you make of it, you know? And I, and, um, just, I'm glad that I was still enough to listen because, I'm usually not. Usually I'm um, go, 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 after talking, and God has to like put a big sign in front of me. Um, but this time I listened, and I'm so glad that I did. So that's so cool. So I love that you said still enough to listen, because like one of my favorite verses is that be still and know that I am God. And I'm mm -hmm. like you. I know we're so much like with the whole hurry, 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 go from one thing to the next. Uh -huh. And yeah, it's hard to be still when hard. you've got all that energy and you want to run around and, you know, oh, you know, I, I feel like a squirrel, you know, just, <laughs> you know, whatever. 
and squirrels don't sit still but then again mm -hmm. he made us squirrels right you know so yeah. <laughs> um but yeah if we will slow down sometimes and we can hear that voice mm -hmm. when we slow down to hear it and i've heard him say not yet just wait before right um you know one yeah. time i was like feeling like you're at a stoplight you're you're driving around and there's a stoplight and you have to stop for the stoplight there's no cars anywhere around the stoplight why do i have to stop at this one nope gotta wait for it to be green you just really don't know where that cop car is to watch you and make sure you didn't run that red light right mm -hmm. so yeah so that's really cool so just refresh you know for everybody that's watching how did how did we even meet i know we were at bni together but i don't even remember what you did for a job back then um let, well, I hit my last, I have three girls and my last one had just went to preschool. So I wanted to do something for Becky, you know, cause like I couldn't just sit home while they were uh -huh. at school. Um, so I think I was doing Arbon. I was selling uh, health products Oh, and, uh, right. Yeah, and, right. and I was, I led the women's ministry for this amount of time at, at Granger community church. And, uh, I think I'm, we saw each other at church too. Okay. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, but yeah. So but yeah. So selling. how can we how can we pray for you? How can we pray for you in your new uh, job? We can pray for your contacts, people for you to make contacts with, and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just pray that I within all the excitement that I can still remember to be still, you know, and listen to him because he's still teaching me things every day, every day, you know, like, um, sure. like it, for instance, it bothered me a little bit, you know. I'm like, why? How could I want to buy that? one day and then not the next, you know, God teach me, you know, what am I to learn in this? And, and I, I learned a lot about myself, you know, so that it was for the wrong reasons, you know, and then I learned what those were and it was just, it was a journey, you know, but it was, it was very, it was right. aha moments, you know, and I, it was awesome. So. So how do you stay inspired every day? If, if there's people watching and they're, you know, they're like struggling to be still and they're wanting to bounce off all the walls or whatever, how, how do you slow down when you're shaped like that? And how do you get inspired? What, what gives you your inspiration daily? I keep a notebook. And when I know I need to be still, because that forces me to sit and do something quiet, you know, and I make a list of things that I'm grateful for. And y'all, that that is like key right there to every single day. You you know, is is if you're driving or right before you go to bed or you know, when you're brushing your teeth, try to think of everything that that God has done in your life and and thank him for that. You know, be forever gracious. And that wow. has literally like I'm I've got chills. <laughs> that has literally changed my life. You know, I do that all the time, every time I can think about it. And I try to write it down to keep me focused because it's hard for me to stay focused. <laughs> So that would be my, right, my take right. for the day for y'all. I love it. Well, I just can't thank you enough for jumping on. And so we actually had some uh, some other people scheduled to do recordings today. And, um, and they had to cancel for stuff. And so God let us have... Um, Becky be one of our recordings. And so if you know somebody that's like this, that's uh, a little, little maybe ADD, that has a hard time being still, maybe this story's for them. So maybe mm -hmm. you want to share this with them. So if it's for you, great. If you would like to have coffee with Becky about what it's like to try and be still when you're not a be still personality, I know she would have coffee with you, wouldn't you, Becky? I would love to. <laughs> Yep. So, um, so yeah. So if you want to message us here, we'll put you in touch and, um, and get you in touch with her. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Remember, um, you can share it from YouTube, Facebook, or lifeinspiredshow.com. That's a way you can get this story out to somebody else. If you know somebody else that needs to be a guest on the red couch virtually or otherwise, um, then that would be great. So thank you guys for watching and thanks for sharing and God bless each one of you. Have a great day. Bye.